Hi, I'm John Armstrong. I'm a realtor with Coldwell Banker, and I'd like to take a few minutes and talk to you about the real estate market in mid-November of 2011. And the October numbers is what I want to really talk about. And to get a clear picture of what's going on in the current market, we really have to go back and talk about 2010's market. And in the first four months of 2010, remember we had that tax incentive, the $8,000 uh, bailout plan. And uh, people, so it forced a lot of people to buy that maybe weren't ready to buy yet. I, I like to compare this to uh, a horse race, 2010 versus 2011. 2010, the first four months had steroids. And uh, so 2010 really got out to a big start on 2011. In fact, in the first four months of 2010, we did 50% of our business for the entire year in those first four months. And think about that, January, February, March, April's usually a good month, but those three months uh, in April to do 50% of your business, it was very heavy and very much an artificial horse. But in 2011, we haven't had that. It's been a straight real estate market. You know, I don't wanna get into politics, but I, I do believe that real estate will always correct itself. And 2011 has been a legitimate market with, with no incentives. And we're, we're behind all year. We've been behind and we've been catching up little pieces. And as of October of 2011, we are in resale homes, we're down 1.6% uh, or 25 homes for the year. Now in projecting what's gonna happen in the last two months of the year, we really have to look at, these are closed numbers in all of the Bloomington Normal area. So we have to look at what closed or what pending transactions there are currently that will close in November and December, which will give us the ability to catch up, which is very important for stabilizing our market for hopefully homeowners gaining uh, steady and solid uh, appreciation in the market. So even if you're not in the market to buy or sell, this really does impact you if you're a homeowner in Bloomington Normal or if you have any interest at all in real estate. So in uh, our, our new construction numbers are pathetic. I'm sure you all have, have uh, seen the newspaper and, and saw what the, the news says about new construction, but our market is 31% uh, down in new construction from last year, which 2010 was a terrible year. So the builders are really uh, uh, putting up a lot less homes than what they were doing before. So overall, if you factor the resell homes with the new construction, our overall market, we're down, we're 93 units behind as of the end of October 2010's numbers. And that equates to 5.2%. Now here's the good news. Um, pending sales in October, versus last year's October, 2010 versus 2011, um, we had uh, 35 more houses sell in, 2000 and, in, in October of 2011 than 2010. So 35 more sell. So that's gonna catch up. Most of those are gonna close in November and December. So they'll be on the November and December's close numbers. So anyway, that's some good news. If you're looking to buy or sell or, or you wanna get a more accurate idea of what's going on in your neighborhood or maybe particularly with your house, uh, on Facebook, we do have a lot of neighborhood pages, and you can go to our YouTube channel and, and get, our YouTube channel is BN Real Estate, all one word, and you can go to our channel and check out a lot of other subdivisions, um, what's going on in those, and just overall home buying and home selling tips. Again, I am John Armstrong, and I want to be your Realtor.